Hey everyone, welcome to Quick Review, where the only thing worse than the quality of my camera is the game I'm going to be reviewing today, Anthem. Let's just jump straight into the score. I'm going to give Anthem a 1.5 out of 10. The main reason for this is that I struggle to even call Anthem a game. It's more like a simulation of what life would be like in the fourth circle of hell. And I'm sure there's a parallel there for how some people see EA as well. But seriously, I expected Anthem to be bad. I could never have imagined the disaster that Bioware and EA would manage to create and release though. Which is sad, because I wanted Anthem to be good. There was a good idea here that just wasn't executed, and it's disappointing. However, I feel like Anthem drew a tiny little bit of inspiration from another game called Warframe, a game that I've genuinely enjoyed playing, but only a tiny bit of inspiration. They definitely didn't make a carbon copy of the game, forgot the carbon paper, and just filled in what was missing. No way, that's not what happened. This is a completely new and original IP. Before I go any further though, I'm not going to hold back on any spoilers. I don't feel like there's much to spoil, but just be warned regardless. So, Bioware used to have a reputation for creating epic feeling stories that were largely character driven, giving the player the feeling that they controlled aspects of the plot and controlled their characters. In Anthem, you pick a face for your character, and then you don't see your character's face again until pretty much the end of the game? Why did I pick a face? What was the point? Another problem is that the story really only revolves around three characters. Halleck, Faye, and you. The story's antagonist is introduced during a history lesson early in the game. You encounter him once in passing, and then you get to the end of the game and defeat him. That's it. There isn't a backstory, there's barely any interaction, and you're basically just chasing after him because he seemingly wants to destroy the world. There's no depth to any of the characters in this game outside of Halleck. There are a lot of side characters and side missions, though. Unfortunately, all of these stories develop separate from the main plot and come to equally as quick and unsatisfying conclusions. Let's talk about the gameplay. You know, the part of the game that typically matters the most. Is it fun? No, not really. Each Warframe has its own set of unique traits and abilities that it can use. Not Warframes, they're called Javelins, sorry. It makes them feel a little different, so there's some variety in playstyle. However, combat itself can only be described as monotonous and lackluster. Shooting things often takes a little too long, and feels like you're barely chipping away at anything in most cases. You can eventually fix this in the late game by modifying your loadout, but it's way too little and it's way too late. The only effective means of dealing with enemies is through melee attacks, shield charging, or unique battle abilities tied to the javelin you're using. But that's just one aspect of the game. One of the most unique aspects of Anthem is flying. Flying seems really cool at first, but then you realize that you can only fly for roughly 15 second bursts. There are a couple of ways to extend that, but under normal conditions, that is your cap. So why does a player need to take a break from flying simply to get from one waypoint to another waypoint? It doesn't make sense. Maybe EA wants to sell you a fancy propulsion system that doesn't overheat in the second content patch. It's the only logical explanation that I have. Flying is also largely underutilized. At the start, you're asked to weave through beams as you fly from one point to the next. It's a sample of cool challenges that could surround flying. Well, guess what? For the rest of the game, you're flying from point A to point B. Oh and through a few rings from time to time. Come on guys, it's 2019, have we not learned that being forced to fly through rings isn't fun? You know what though? 
flying through the open world creates for some picturesque moments because the game truly is beautiful and you can really experience that in free play mode. Free play mode basically lets you roam around the world. You can use this time to find harvestable material used in the crafting system, random chests that contain items, but you know what you typically won't find? Anything fun to do. There are occasionally small events that pop up where you have to complete an objective or kill some enemies, but they are few and far between. At one point, I flew around for a solid 10 minutes without finding a single event. So, free play mode is pretty much here if you decide you want to fly for 15 second intervals around a beautiful world. This problem isn't just in free play though. All of the missions in this game are repetitive, there's no diversity. Some missions just have you stand in place while you wait for a completion bar to fill up. Sometimes enemies will show up and fight you while you do this. Sometimes you literally just stand there for 30 seconds waiting for nothing to happen. Other missions have you killing enemies to achieve some sort of goal. And honestly, that's it. There are two categories of quests and events in Anthem. Anthem also has a crafting system in place. You can find materials or salvage items down to their core materials. There's also a vault that allows you to mass salvage items, except that mass salvaging takes almost the exact same amount of time as salvaging items one by one. There's also no real guidance in how this system works. There are blueprints for items, but for the most part, crafting seems like a mechanic hidden behind a shroud. One day, you won't be able to craft anything, and the next day, you'll have a bunch of things to craft. Maybe you found some more materials, maybe you unlocked a blueprint. Who knows, the game doesn't even try to tell you. Finally, let's talk about the bugs. Anthem seems like it's riddled with bugs. Most of these bugs seem like they could have been easily discovered with a bit of testing. If you walk up to these curtains, they're a solid brick wall. Is that a bug? No, it's bad design. However, if you walk into them from the side, you're taken into a completely different world. That's not game breaking though. That's just something silly that shouldn't ever happen. But hold on, listen to this. Did you hear that? No, you didn't. That's because the game's audio just randomly cuts out. In this case, I had to finish this mission without sound and restart the game to resolve it. Finally, my absolute favorite. During one of the final story missions, and also one of the longer missions, it appears that I desynced, causing my character to endlessly rubber band back at increasingly long intervals. Then I discovered I could clip through the world, and after flying around in the undercarriage of Bastion, the game threw me into a rock prison where I had to quit the game. Except I couldn't quit the game. The menus wouldn't open, and none of the buttons seemed to actually work outside of something that directly controlled my character. At this point, I had to force quit the game, restart the mission, and waste approximately 30 minutes of my life. All in all, Anthem was a dumpster fire, created through the non-execution of otherwise solid ideas. I will genuinely be surprised if Anthem doesn't wind up being the worst game of 2019. And honestly, I think it deserves a spot on any list of the worst games of all time. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video, and remember, this is just in my opinion. If you disagree, feel free to leave a comment and let me know how you felt about Anthem. Either ways, thank you for watching.